Five minutes. Literally, what's the time, bro? It's like, what, half six? Yeah. We got here at 20 past six. Look at the boy. He's going for a snack, bro. Oh, what was that? It was a cat boy. It's, it's gone round something, mate. It's over there. See his tail splash. I don't see no tail splash. I thought it went solid then. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Coming in. Oh, God, I'm on my arm. It's killing me then. In a swap. Oh, I ain't gonna stop it. Don't let it go in the snack, though. Oh, no. Oh, I can't stop it. <laughs> my balls are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alright now. He's over there. He's going straight. You want to be in that snack, in that little... Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've literally been here five minutes and we have caught ourselves ready for this. Then we got the bell. Oh. Been I'll be back. This is 57 pound catfish. <laughs> Look at the size of it, bro. It's shitting still. Oh, actually, yeah. oh boy, that's jank. It's leaking. 57 pound catfish from Terrapin Lake. So now I've got myself actually ready and set up. Uh, I've got my middle rod here, which actually I did have the catfish on. I was trying to cast over to there. There's like a tree trunk there. If you ever come on Terrapin Lake, go pick two. As you can see down there. Um, yeah, I was trying to cast, uh, see that one there, literally ne ne right next to that there. Um, literally <clears throat> cast to there, like you can underarm cast it, I underarm cast it. Got it like, you want it like as close as you can. And then uh, you should hopefully have a fish. I've got this one here out for cats as well. And both my Sonic rods are out for cats because they're three pound Tesco. But I did have this one on the cat as I was trying to cast over there because I messed it up the first time, messed it up the second time. I think the noise just attracted it in. And then when I cast it out the third or fourth time, as it was sinking, my, my rod just like nearly come out of my hands and then took me down there. I was fighting it for about 40 minutes. But yeah, here is some pictures of it. This one here is also for cats, that's just out there. Well, it's cats or carp because it's got just fishy boilies on it, but it's literally in the middle there. So I'm trying to think like as if they're passing through the little, uh, this little bit here, then hopefully. And this one is also I'm in the middle. On a blue rod, but, um, yeah, I'll get back to you if, if I do get anything. Right, it's about half 12 and rod torn off again, and it's just a little baby cat, little kitten. But um, yeah, the biggest bit of Tritzo sausage I've put on all day, and I got this, but. Yeah, every fish counts, doesn't it? It's got boilies now. Right, so this is actually the rig I'm using. I've got a size 2 wide gape hook and uh, just a normal hair with 80-pound braid and just a little bit of trick sausage. When I actually caught the fish, I actually had a bigger bit, but um, we're running out of trick sausage, that's all we got left. And uh, I'm using a 3-ounce lead, but I'm not locking the lead. It's just so it can like run free, so hopefully they don't feel no tension and they just keep it in their mouth like that one did. Right, all the rods are back out, um, and uh, yeah, so unfortunately I did just lose one, so I've recasted, um, and uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you if I get anything now.
Half two now, and uh, as you see, I caught it on camera. I was over there doing a bit of pike fishing with a lure, and we had this absolute screamer. If I can get it up, thirty-one pound catfish. Good fish, isn't it? Yeah, the fight was ridiculous. It took me all down the channel through the snags. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to get this one in. It's a good fight. But uh, yeah, let's get it back. So we're sitting there in the middle rods torn off on the spicy sausage of Peg 2, my favorite peg on the lake. And we've gone and got ourselves a nutty little common. As you can see, it's crazy. Hey! <laughs> right, so we are now home. Um, I didn't catch any more fish, but I did lose three fish. And <clears throat> if you do have a fish terrapin lake at Darren, and you're fishing a peg two, or peg one maybe, I'm not too sure, I've not tried this one out yet, but if you have a rod to the back on the left, where my left hand rod was, yeah, just be careful because there's some like snaggy parts and if you get a cat on, they snap you up every time. I got snapped up, I got snapped up four times, yeah, but I think one of them was a carp, right? But, or maybe just a little cat. I'm not too sure, right? But, um, that's why I say I got snapped up three times, but I lost three, but I don't know, right? Mate, I could have lost four, but there's a tree hanging out of the water, right? They swim through the back of the tree and then down a hole. And you just can't get them out. They just snap up every time. The moment they touch it, it's boom, straight away. So if you do decide to fish there and you do fish the swims of uh, fish today and you do start catching, make sure you tackle that really. And <clears throat> also, I'd bring um, a big net because my net, obviously, clearly in the video, is not big enough. But I'm going to get a bigger net so it'll be easier. The swim is very small, so if you do decide to fish it, uh go ahead fish with three rods whatever yeah but just be careful because if you do get a cat it can take out all your lines i had a cat earlier it took out one of my, my other rod but um my cart rod took out my cart rod but um yeah if you do decide to fish it i do highly recommend to try and fish it it's not always it's not the easiest you're not getting them getting like you're not catching them one a chuck it is a bit of a challenge but when you do catch them like you see today, it is so much fun and it is really good. By the way, that I did catch that carp in the last clip. So we're sitting there and the middle rod's torn off on the spicy sausage. Yeah, Gerald thought it was a good idea to confuse you. So uh, yeah, I did catch the carp, so don't don't uh, think I didn't. If you do want to fish for carp there, I'd 100% fish towards the um, the tree trunks that are in there. It's a bit hard to cast in there though. If you have a, if you can underarm cast, like well, you'll be all right. But it's just like two or three tries, it should be all right. Uh, I messed up and took seven and then caught a cat. Be prepared for the unexpected on that lake because clearly today I was not ready for that. My rod nearly flew out of my hands. I was holding it, cast out, I was like, no, that ain't right. When I went to do when I went to reel it in, it went boom and the rod slid up my hand. <clears throat> if I hold it tight enough, I would have lost the rod. So turn it into consideration when you are fishing for cats if you do want to start fishing for them. But yeah, hope you did enjoy the video. I'm gonna go get some food now because I'm absolutely starving. And um, yeah, so I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like and comment or whatever if you have any questions on that um, about that lake that I fished today or about my last video, Long Lake. Make sure you like, subscribe, 
and uh, turn them post notifications on. I've actually got a video coming out soon. I'm going to be fishing the Lawn Lake again with Gerald and Dan. Um, that will be happening in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I should have a video out within the next month or maybe even sooner if I do decide to go fishing. Uh, I would like to go fishing for catfish again. I might go on Long Lake and fish for cats because there is obviously the Black Mumber in there which is over £100. And one whisker, which I really want to get one whisker. That's about 80 to 90 pound I've heard. I've heard stories of it being over 100, but the majority of people say that <clears throat> it is uh, not that big. So, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Tight lines, wet next.